Welcome back to the Crypto Bot Channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin is continuing the next leg to the upside in the larger bull markets as the price continues breaking out in the bullish direction from this bullish pattern right here, but is now rejecting from critical resistance in the short term. So in just a moment, I'll be talking about that and my trading strategy, while Ethereum is also massively breaking out to the upside from this bullish pattern, while the price is now running into a bit of short-term resistance, but this chart right here could change everything for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I'll be talking about all of that and more later in the video. So definitely watch to the end. First of all, just before getting into the Bitcoin charts today, taking a look at the Bitcoin news today, and on Monday, we just saw another massive net inflow into the spot Bitcoin ETFs. Because as you can see right here on Monday, we had a net inflow into the Bitcoin ETFs of around 237.2 million US dollars coming into the Bitcoin ETF. So this is new money buying up Bitcoin. And so as I've said here on the channel, if we're seeing decent sized net inflows, for example, net inflows over $100 million per day, then that can help the price of Bitcoin in the bullish direction as we saw yesterday. But with that being said, taking a look at the Bitcoin charts today on the three day time frame, as I've been saying for a long time now, we are still very much in a bullish trend on the larger time frames, forming higher lows and higher highs. And also, as I've been saying basically every day over the last couple of weeks, we have a massive hidden bullish divergence on the three day time frame, pointing towards a continuation of this larger bullish trend, basically telling us that we're likely going to see another leg to the upside in the larger bull market. And obviously, over the last few days especially, this has been playing out exactly as expected because once again, I've been talking about this hidden bullish divergence since the price was at around $60,000. And of course, during a larger bullish trend, we can see short-term pullbacks here and there. So just because we see a short-term dump in the price of Bitcoin, that does not necessarily change the larger bullish trend on the larger timeframes. And if we're taking a look at this daily Bitcoin chart, as of right now, what we've seen just recently over the last couple of days is a very small bounce to the upside in the DXY. But with that being said, the DXY overall is still in this pullback, looking more bearish than bullish, at least as of right now. And so once again, as I've been saying every day over the last couple of weeks, since much lower prices, this DXY pulling back is a bullish reversal signal for Bitcoin in terms of the trends here on the daily time frame. Because in case you're new to this channel, all you really need to know about the DXY is usually when the DXY is bullish, that is often bearish for Bitcoin and crypto. But on the other hand, when the DXY is bearish, that is usually very bullish for Bitcoin and crypto. And so once again, like I've been saying since this initial pullback began in the DXY a couple of weeks ago now, this is very bullish for Bitcoin in terms of the trend. And once again, a bullish trend can contain some bearish price action here and there on the smaller timeframes. And of course, this is not the only bullish signal I've been talking about over the last couple of weeks. We also have that major breakout to the upside here in the daily Bitcoin RSI. And if we're taking a look at the last couple of times, we've seen a major breakout to the upside in the daily Bitcoin RSI above a significant descending line of resistance. Those previous examples both occurred at the beginning of the next major move to the upside in the price of Bitcoin. And of course, this time around, it was not different. We saw the exact same thing play out as we've seen time and time again. And as I've been sharing here on the channel, once again, basically every day over the last couple of weeks. And so we should not be surprised by the bullish price action that we're seeing right now because we have been seeing multiple bullish reversal signals flash on different timeframes, especially on the larger timeframes here. And so when we're talking about the larger moves in the price of Bitcoin or the trends in the price of Bitcoin, it's no surprise why the price of Bitcoin has been trending more bullish over the last couple of weeks. And if we're zooming into the daily Bitcoin chart, taking a look at this bullish falling wedge pattern, which has basically completed just over the last one day here. Because first of all, ever since the price was all the way back down here, I've been talking about how once we confirm a breakout above this resistance at around 62 to 63,000, once we confirm a breakout there, then we have a technical price target to the upside at around 72 to 74,000 for this pattern right here. And of course, between that breakout and that bullish price target, we did have this area of resistance along the way where the price did struggle at for a couple of days. 
But as I was saying over the last couple of days, I said once we see a confirmed breakout above 68,000, expect a quick move up towards around 72,000, which is where the next resistance starts. And what we ended up seeing was exactly that. The moment we started a breakout above 68,000, that liquidated billions of dollars of short positions, causing a major short squeeze to the upside, pushing the price very quickly towards the next major area of resistance resistance, which is exactly where the price is struggling at as of right now. And so if you've been watching my videos over the last couple of weeks, you should be making a lot of money right now as I am doing right here with my Bitcoin long position, because obviously the moment these bullish reversal signals started to flash right at around 59,000, that is when I shared here on the channel that I am entering into this long position at around 59,000 to 60,000. And as you can see, I'm still currently in this Bitcoin long position because I'm still bullish on the larger timeframes in terms of the larger move at play. But since my last video, because we saw that further breakout here and now a bit of a rejection from around 72,000, due to that, since my last video, I did take a little bit of profits off the table, some more profits right at around 72,000, give or take, which is basically exactly where the price went to before we saw this short-term pullback right here. And so in my last video, this was a 200K Bitcoin long position, but as of right now, this is currently a 180K Bitcoin long position, as you can see on the left-hand side right there. And so basically, as the price has been going to the upside, I've just slowly been taking a little bit of profits off the table here and there as we're running into some resistance levels. And I've also been moving my stop loss further into profits as the price moves further into profits. And so by doing that, I still have a lot of the trade open, which is continuing to profit as we see more bullish price action. But by also realizing some profits along the way and moving my stop loss into profits, I'm essentially securing more profits in the worst case scenario. So basically, if the price were just to crash for some reason, then in that worst case scenario, I would already have secured some profits and the stop loss is already sitting in profits. And I got a few comments in recent videos here on the channel saying I sold too early or I took profits too early because we just saw this latest bullish move. But for those that are commenting that probably don't understand that this is an inverse perpetual trade, which means the profits are paid out in Bitcoin. And so that basically means even if I take profits from this trade or sell this trade, essentially because it pays out in Bitcoin, those profits are also gaining in value as the price goes to the upside. So basically I'm profiting into Bitcoin, not into US dollars or stable coins. And so when I'm selling part of this trade or closing part of this trade, essentially I'm not looking to buy back lower because it is an inverse perpetual trade because it pays out in Bitcoin. So I'm basically turning some Bitcoin into more Bitcoin not selling into US dollars or hoping to buy back lower. That is not what I'm doing. And if you want to take trades just like this for yourself to make a lot of easy profits just like this, then make sure to check out this exchange, which I'm trading on right now, which is Bybit. So I'll make sure to leave a link to Bybit down below this video in the description and in the pinned comment. And if you use that link down below this video, you can get up to a $30,000 deposit bonus, but only if you use that link down below this video to make a Bybit account and deposit on that account. And also, if you use that link, it'll take you to this page right here where you can claim an exclusive 200 USDT airdrop position just by making a Bybit account using that link, making a deposit and claiming the airdrop. And so if you're going to be trading crypto anyway, you might as well check this out. Once again, first link down below this video. But for whatever reason, if you cannot access Bybit or if you cannot KYC on Bybit, there is also Bitflex, which is another crypto exchange similar to Bybit, but you don't need KYC for Bitflex. And so I'll also make sure to leave a link to Bitflex down below this video as an alternative crypto exchange. And if we're taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map, we can see just over the last one day or so, we obviously liquidated billions of dollars of short positions that were sitting right at around 68,000. And obviously I've been talking about this over and over again recently here on the channel. I've been talking about how we have billions of dollars of liquidity sitting right at around 68,000. And I've been saying in recent videos here on the channel, once we break out above 68,000, that will liquidate billions of dollars of short positions, causing a short squeeze further to the upside, which is why we should be expecting a quick move from 68 to 72. 2000, which exactly played out as expected. 
But now that those short positions got completely annihilated, if we're taking a look at the funding rates, the funding rates are actually reversing back into the bearish direction because they're starting to become overheated. And so, of course, this is happening after all of those shorts got wiped out of the market. And now a lot of traders are very much long on the crypto market, not trying to short. And so this means it's starting to become a little bit more expensive to long the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum and other crypto assets. And basically, if these funding rates go further and further into the positive direction, this can be a little bit of a warning signal if they become more overheated. But at least for now, they're only just above neutral. And so at least for now, it's not much of a warning signal, but if they continue in the direction that they've gone over the last one day, so basically further into the positive direction, then that can tell us that the market is starting to get a little bit too overheated. And if the funding rates get too overheated, that tells us we're likely going to see some sort of short term pullback. But at least for now, the funding rates are only just above neutral. And also, if this rejection continues from this resistance, then we should expect major supports in this price range based on previous resistance sitting in between 67 to 68,000, once again, acting as support. But that does not necessarily mean that's a price target. It's just if we go down towards those levels, we're likely going to bounce around there if we actually go down there. But of course, it is possible that we could bounce before even reaching those levels. So just keep that in mind. And once again, during these larger bullish moves, we can see short term pullbacks here and there. So don't be fooled by this short term pullback right here, because on the larger time frames, we're still looking very bullish. And if we're taking a look at Ethereum on the weekly time frame, also, as I've been saying every day for a long time now on the channel, the price of ETH on the weekly time frame is still looking very bullish in a larger bullish trend, also known as a bull market, forming higher lows and higher highs. But of course, during a bull market or a larger bullish trend on the larger time frames, we can see short term pullbacks and short term bearish trends here and there during the larger bullish trend. And what we are now seeing on the daily time frame is a massive confirmed breakout from this bullish falling wedge pattern. And as I've said recently here on the channel, in order to flip much more bullish again here for the price of ETH in the shorter term, we ideally need to see a breakout not only above this resistance, but also above this previous high, which if we're looking at the actual candle wick high, that's sitting at around 33.50. And obviously, over the last one day, we did indeed see a massive breakout above that high right there, above 33.50. And so the moment we started a breakout above these areas right here on the chart, that is when we could start to become much more confident that we're actually flipping in the bullish direction again in the short term after this short term bearish trend that we were previously in. And so, of course, this was a potential trading opportunity for those of you that might take breakout trades. And I did actually share just yesterday over on my Twitter that Ethereum is breaking out from the falling wedge based on ETH ETF rumors. And I won't be going too much into detail in this video about the potential spot Ethereum ETF coming up. But basically, before yesterday, so a couple of days ago, there was a very, very low chance. A lot of people were thinking there was a very low chance that the Ethereum ETFs would actually get approved in the US because essentially the SEC has been trying to call Ethereum a security for some time now. But just yesterday, a lot of ETF analysts basically said that the Ethereum ETFs might actually get approved. There's actually a much higher chance of approval than what was previously expected. And obviously, we can see how the spot Bitcoin ETFs have been performing in the US ever since January. They have helped the price of Bitcoin massively in the bullish direction because we've seen billions of dollars of inflows into the spot Bitcoin ETFs since January. And so, of course, if there's a higher probability that the spot ETH ETFs will actually get approved in the US, that is going to send the price of ETH much higher, as we saw just here. And so that basically means some of the ETF approval has now been priced into the price of ETH, not all of it, but some of it, which basically means if the ETFs actually get denied, we could end up seeing quite a large retracement, basically the erasement of a lot of this move right here. But on the other hand, if the spot Ethereum ETFs actually do get approved in the US, we could continue to see this bullish move continue to play out moving forward. 
And if we're zooming into the eight hour time frame, taking a look at some Fibonacci levels of resistance based on the Fibonacci retracement tool from swing high to swing low, we have this 78.6% Fibonacci level of resistance, which the price is currently running into right now as of recording this video, which is sitting at around 38.10 to 38.20. So just above 3.8K. And that's basically the final Fibonacci level of resistance before potentially heading up towards this local high, which is sitting just underneath 4.1K. And so once again, if we first confirm a breakout above this Fibonacci level of resistance, which as of right now has not happened, but if we break out above that level, then we can start expecting a move up towards these local highs at 4.1K. But for now, there's still the possibility that we could actually find resistance at this area and potentially see a rejection. And in that case, we should find a lot of supports based on previous resistance in this price range right here, which was this previous golden pocket sitting in between around 3.6K to 36.50, once again, now acting as new support. And in a more bearish scenario, we should also find a lot of support at around 34.50 and more support at around 3.3K. And if we're taking a quick look at this chart right here, this is the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart on the weekly time frame. So this is basically ETH priced in Bitcoin rather than ETH priced in US dollars. And so in case you're new to this channel, if this chart is bullish, it means Ethereum is performing better than Bitcoin. But if this chart is bearish, it means Bitcoin is performing better than Ethereum. And as you can see here, for a long time now, Bitcoin has been performing a lot better than Ethereum basically ever since around August 2022. So for nearly two years now, the price of Bitcoin has been performing a lot better than the price of ETH. And of course, during this larger bearish trend, there has been some times here and there where we've had some short-term pumps like what we're seeing at the moment. But this time around, we are now seeing a massive bullish divergence play out on the weekly time frame. Because as of right now, just recently, the price of ETH versus Bitcoin has created a new lower low in the weekly candle closes, while the RSI has just created a new higher low, which is a bullish divergence. And because it's on a weekly time frame, this is a significant signal to pay attention to. But ultimately, we still need to break out above this descending line of resistance in order to actually break the downtrend. And ideally, we need to break out above these previous highs to actually confirm a new higher high in the price of ETH versus Bitcoin. And first of all, this descending line of resistance right here is currently sitting at around 0.0575 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And these highs right here are sitting at around 0.061 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And so basically the price of ETH versus BTC needs to pump at least another 6%, but ideally another 12% to the upside in order to start breaking out above these levels on the chart. And due to the fact that this massive bullish divergence is now playing out, and also if we end up seeing that confirmed breakout above these previous highs and above this resistance, then that could change everything for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Well, everything that we've seen over the last couple of years, because once again, it's been very normal for Bitcoin to perform better than Ethereum over the last two years or so, but this could change everything if we confirm a breakout ideally above this resistance and these previous highs. And if we're taking a quick look at the price of Solana on the 12 hour time frame, since my last video, we did see a bullish move further to the upside. And now just like Bitcoin at the moment in the short term and Ethereum running into a bit of resistance, we're also seeing a bit of a rejection from some resistance for the price of Solana in the short term. But technically speaking, this bullish price target to the upside for this bullish inverse and the shoulders pattern is still active. It is still in play. And this would only invalidate if we see a break back below around 160 with confirmation like candle closes below that level. But between now and then, we also have a lot of support in this range sitting in between 167 to 172. And as for short-term resistance, we do have some resistance at around 182 to 186 approximately, but obviously the price went a little bit above that resistance just over the last one day before still struggling around this area. And we still have more resistance at around 200 to 210. 
And once again, if you want to trade these moves in the price of any crypto to make a lot of easy profits, check out those links down below this video to claim those extra bonuses. And if you want to actually know how to trade crypto, no matter if the price is bullish, bearish, or chopping around sideways, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how you can profit from bullish or bearish price action using long positions or short positions. And the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. Action. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.